basically is a parabola? Well, a parabola is the set of all points, okay, such that if you pick a point on that parabola and you measure the distance to the focus and you measure the distance to a line called the directrix, those distances are always going to be the same. So the idea is if you're to go further out on this parabola here, you can see the distance to that focus is getting longer, but so is that perpendicular di uh, distance to the directrix is also getting longer. But those points on the parabola, this U-shaped graph, okay, they're always going to be equidistant from a given point called the focus and a given line called the directrix. The other component of parabolas is this distance between the vertex and the directrix and the vertex and the focus. We call that distance P, and the basic equation of a parabola is in the form x squared equals 4py or y squared equals 4px. Now the thing to realize is that you know these parabolas can be picked up and shifted left and right up and down. The way I've written the equation here, this is where the vertex or that bending point, that turning point is at the origin, but you know you can see the h and k can shift the graph left and right up and down. But the key thing to remember is that if the x term is squared, that means the parabola is going to be opening either up or down. If the p is positive, it's opening up. If the p is negative, it's opening down. And then for the y squared, if you have a y squared term but not an x squared term, that means it's opening to the right or the left. Left if p is negative, right if p is positive. So let's get into this problem and see if we can uh, graph it and write the equation. So the directrix here is at x equals negative 1. So let's go ahead and sketch that in. So that's just an imaginary, you know, invisible line. Okay, and we'll just write that x equals negative 1 right there. And then the focus is at 3, 1, which is right there. I'll just label that the focus. Now, the thing to realize is that the vertex is halfway in between the focus and the directrix. So if we find that midpoint, you can see that's going to be right here at 1, 1. So let me just write that down. The vertex is at uh, right 1, up 1. Okay, so now the distance from the vertex to the focus, that distance is our p distance, or the vertex to the directrix, that is also p, and you can see that p is equal to 2. All right, so that's important when we go to write our equation. So it looks like the parabola is going to be opening to the right. It opens away from the directrix towards the focus, okay? So you can see it's going to be opening something like this to the right. So that means this is going to be an x squared, I'm sorry, a y squared variety, okay? So this is going to be y minus 1 squared, okay, uh, equals 4 times p, p is 2 here, so 4 times 2, and then uh, x minus 1. So if we simplify this, this is 8 times x minus 1, and this is y minus 1 squared, and there you can see our vertex is at 1, 1. These are the opposite sign, okay, 1, 1. And then this is positive, which tells us opening to the right. And the other thing that I didn't mention in, in the intro here is, is that the parabolas, they're actually at the level of focus, they're 4p wide, okay, so that means 4p in this case is 8. So at the level of focus, it's going to be 8 wide. From here, I'm going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a point on our graph, and down four, one, two, three, four. And so that gives us an idea about how wide the parabola is, okay, like that. So the equation is what we were after, and we've got it right there. So I hope that helped you to make, uh, you know, finding the equation of ellipse a little bit easier when you're given the focus and the directrix. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Myers Math Tutoring. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.